Hey, my name is Erva. In the history, there have been a lot of immigrations due to various reasons, um, such as due to need to find grass and to animals, uh, overpopulation, and desire to conquer new places. For example, all these reasons triggered the migration period. People also called this migration uh, migrate, uh, barbarian invasions. Um, that was a period of human immigration that occurred roughly between 300 and 700 centuries in Europe. Uh, the marking transition is the late antiquity to the early Middle Ages. Uh, these moments were catalyzed by profound changes within both Roman Empire. Uh, and the another important migration is migration to the New World. In this immigration, nearly 65 million people migrate and this caused to occur new countries uh, within the world Roman Empire. Uh, and this caused to occur new countries in Europe, in America and Australia. Um, today, um, as a summary, today I will talk about today's biggest and growing problem, immigrant problems. And I will briefly examine the reasons lies behind the immigration. Then, um, at the end of the paragraph, I will try to find a, de find a solution to their problems. Um, first of all, uh, what migration is? It is the process by which people came to a foreign country to live in there, or the number of people coming in. Um, most of the immigrants immigrate because of similar reasons, like uh, economical ones, environmental reasons, and cultural reasons. Um, I think the most important one is economical ones, because now we are living in a capitalist system and everything is money. You can't do anything without money. Um, but in the past, people also immigrate because of reasons like slavery. Um, people, people tend to immigrate places where jobs seem to be more available and um, they are immigrating to more developed countries. As I think that they are immigrating to more developed countries like America, but from this country's point of view, uh, they are coming with some problems. For example, um, overpopulation and shortage of sources. Um, but these problems are, are double-sided um, because from immigrants' point of view, they are uh, they can't find the job like they expect and they are working much more hours than um, casual workers in return with low salaries. Um, but I believe that um, immigrants' important problems are language, um, transportation and culture. Um, Language is the key of communication, and every immigrant need to and want to communicate, because every human uh, need to communicate. Um, even in transportation, the language is necessary, uh, because if you want to be driver, you want to pass the reading exam. Uh, and cultural problems are even worse, because you have to adapt their um, eating habits, food styles, and relations. Um, if we, try, if we uh, talk about immigrant problems, we have to mention um, the Mexican and Syrian immigrant problems. Uh, in my country, nearly uh, 4 million Syrian women and 80,000 of them now still young. They, they came because of safety hazard and now we are living with them. Uh, but actually, they are not immigrants, they are refugees. Um, and we should know that the difference is being a refugee and immigrant. A refugee is someone who has to uh, force to flee his or her home country, uh, but immigrants choose to immigrate. And um, a refugee applicants have to prove that uh, if they will return their home country, they will be injured because of their race, nationality. Um, membership in a particular social group of their political opinion um, and religion. Uh, being a refugee is really hard, I know that, but that's also a problem for my country, so I really hope that they uh, finally be able to return their home and um, where their country will be end. 
in their country. Um, also, being an immigrant is hard to. Um, the reasons lies behind the Mexican immigrants immigration is economic, but recently Trump set a strict rules for immigrants. Um, they took the adults um, who enter who came into a country without permission to prison, and they took children to case. And according to some rumors, um, these children exposed to sexual abuse in there, and they have to face illness and hunger. Um, and they also want to want to set a wall for the immigrants and they want to ignore the problems and their rules. And trans uh, this and this strict rules name is zero tolerance policy and this caused a traumatic experience for children. Uh, being an immigrant is hard and they have to face so many problems, but what's the solution? Um, I think uh, for Syrian refugees uh, is the absolute and better solution to find a, to find a, um, to finish the war in their country. I know it's not easy to achieve, but and um, is absolute and best solution and for refu and for Mexican immigrants, um, we have to accustom them to society and for these reasons every country must open a course which uh, teach um, language and culture. In this rate we have to help them because um, that's really hard. And uh, if you want a better future, we ought to help them. Um, we have to remember that th these peoples came because they have some problems. Um, someone who feels fulfilled about their life do not want to immigrate. And uh, every parent also educate their children not to be insensitive about their problems. Um, every single country must help them if you want to win this victory. Thank you.